Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the Blaze Estate. My name is Erica Ricky Blaze, and today we're going to be talking about the Rona. So as everyone obviously knows, we are on basic lockdown because of the coronavirus. But hopefully if you were smart, you stacked up on things that you're going to need to, you know, soothe your anxiety and um, just get through the day with all this corona um, madness going on. But actually, I've actually been outside. Uh, I was downtown yesterday. I brought my weights and I was just kind of like cruising through the town. Downtown is like deserted. Like it's so weird. I've never, I'm not used to seeing like Faneuil Hall being like empty. I went to the aquarium, dead. I went to the sea, oh, almost a seaport, but I was on the wharfs. I was at um, Long Wharf and Rose Wharf. And it's just weird to see it with nobody in there. So um, be safe wherever you are, but it's okay to go outside and like get some fresh air. Um, I love the vitamin D anyway. I do love the vitamin D from the sunlight anyway, um, but it's good to really get out there. You don't have to be cooped up in the house. It's not good for your mental health anyway. All right, so today's episode, I have a whole bunch of edibles, a whole bunch of goodies, things that will help us get through this lockdown until life is back to normal and we're gonna go through all of these one by one see which is hitting and how much it's hitting for so first up we have that pineapple by my friends at trap farms so i saw trap farms at sunday mass a couple of sunday masses ago my cousin was in town from new york and he basically he was just like in awe, like it's hard to describe, but he was like a kid in a candy shop. He's never seen like a real cipher, a real connection like that. So it was cool. But yeah, so Trap Farms has that pineapple. It's 200 milligrams per bag and each bag has 40 milligrams each. So you can see right here, this is the pineapple and you can smell it, but it's like, it smells kind of loud. It's like a little lemon lime type flavor. But um, honestly, a little goes a long way. You, What I did was that I had this yesterday. I cut it in half. So I had one half of a pineapple like around midday and then I had the other half in the evening. And it lasted me basically throughout the night. Like I was done. So these, these right here, lethal. But Definitely good. I think this might have been um, $20, Trap Farms on Instagram. Up next, we have Bostoned Ba by Metaroma Exotics. This is 500 milligram milk chocolate bar right here. And I didn't want to like ruin it because I really like the front, but I had a little bit here. Oh, actually, I had more than I think I had. But it's a bunch of squares as you can see. And I only took like this much of it and it definitely did its job. <laughs> I definitely was swirly off of this one. So shout out to them. They're also known as Exotics Hall of Fame. So Metaroma Exotics, Exotics Hall of Fame. This retails for about $30. So Boston Ba, shout out to them. So last week at the, kind of at the start of Corona, I went to an exotic gas pop-up and I met this new brand. I don't think I was familiar with them before. They're Connoisseurs Club. I met Cali Connection and he sold me this Nerds Rope, which is like a lime, cherry, blah, 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 blah. But this is it right here. Nice Nerds Rope and um, it's been holding me down. I eat it like little by little, but this is good. It's definitely cost effective too. I think a little goes a long way with the nerds rope. Is it upside down? No. So yeah, I'm have this. And then they put me onto this new bar. It's called Yershi's. This is it right here. And I obviously had a little bit of it earlier. I'm not gonna front. <laughs> but Yershi's is good. I've only had like a little, I had like a couple things when I, when I get these bars, I try not to obviously eat them immediately. I want to give it some time where I can like eat it, take a little bit of it, you know, experience what I got experience and then bring it back to you guys. So by the time I bring it to you guys, it's not all fucked up. So 
Um, yeah, the Yershi's bar is really good. A little bit goes a long way. Um, shout out to the Hood Chef out in California, California, Boricua out in California. They're, um, they're the ones who originated all of this, so shout out to them. And last but not least, I saw my friends over at Buck's Brand and I picked up a Gelato 41. Gelato 41. So a little pack right here to hold me over, you know, while the Rona is going around. So definitely have this on deck. I also still have my straight fonto leaf from last time. Straight fonto right here. So mix a little bit of this, a little bit of that. When I'm feeling sweet, I could grab my Nerds Rope candy. When I have that chocolate sweet tooth craving coming on, I can have my Yershi's or that pineapple, keep it, keep it healthy, another bar. So I'm pretty good. I'm locked and loaded for this Corona. Like I'm not scared at all, like whatever. You know, let the people do what they gotta do. But um, I'm just chilling. I'm working out, drinking my water, minding my business. Hopefully everyone else is doing the same. They're taking advantage of this time just to plot, strategize, do what you need to do to get ahead. and just be wise and use common sense. But yeah, that's all that I have for today. Thank you for watching The Blaze Estate. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Bye.